Have you ever stopped to wonder where new products, ideas, and inventions come from? Hi, my name is Sani. From sports cars to smartphones, we are always striving for ways to make life better, safer, and more comfortable. And perhaps the best example of human ingenuity is how we care for our health. Experts are always working to improve health care, constantly developing new treatments, medications, techniques, and technologies to improve our lives. This process happens through the hard work and relentless curiosity of researchers. From college students to family doctors, researchers are working to make health care better every day. But someone very important might be missing from this health care improvement team, you. It's very hard to improve healthcare without people like you and me willing to participate in research. Here's one example of how it works. This team of researchers is working on a new medication to treat an illness. They do all kinds of research in their laboratory, but they can't know for certain if their new medication works better than the one already being used. So they ask people who have that illness to participate in a research study. Some patients take the new medication and others take the old one. Researchers track how both medications work over time. The more people who participate, the more accurate the results of the study. In the end, they discover which medication works better. Whether it's a medication, a surgical procedure, or just about any other medical treatment, healthcare only improves by testing how new ideas work for real people. So why do people participate in research? It is possible that the results of the study might one day improve a participant's own health. But for many, it's the knowledge that those results could eventually help family, friends, neighbors, and people all over the world. So why should you participate in research studies? Because everyone is different. Everyone responds differently to medical treatment, and research allows exploration of those differences to learn something new. Because researchers need to account for those differences, many studies have eligibility requirements. These could include having a particular disease or being of a certain age, gender, or ethnicity. So you may not be able to participate if you don't meet the requirements for the study, but stay open to other studies. Like any medical treatment, research is not without its risks. These days, research is governed by strong laws, policies, and practices that protect the safety and privacy of participants. Most studies conducted through teaching hospitals, clinics, and other research institutions must first be reviewed and approved by an ethics team. They assess the balance of risks and benefits of each project before it is approved. Before you can participate in a study, researchers must make sure you fully understand how the study works, how your health information will be used, and any known risks you may face. Ask every question you can think of. When possible, Take the information home to review with trusted family or friends. Ask other healthcare providers that you trust. Only when you know all the facts should you decide to participate. Ask the study staff if you need help understanding the materials or if you need an interpreter who speaks your language. If you enroll in a study, be actively involved and share your experiences with researchers. Good or bad, researchers need to know in order to learn from your participation. Also, just because you start a study does not mean you must complete it. Participation in research is always voluntary, so you can stop at any time, even after a study has started. To participate in health research is to give a gift. It's a gift to yourself and others like you if you have a particular health problem. And it's a gift to your culture by helping researchers better understand your ethnic community one person at a time. Visit this website to learn more you can help improve healthcare for all of us. Thanks for watching.